to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an autumn set using my Flexi hand. You can get this from the Flexi Finger Australia. The link is in my description box. You can also get 10% off using Coconut Mug 10. <laughs> the gel I'm using is, of course, from Bling Line. This is the Cover Gel Warm Pink. This is a high viscosity gel and it doesn't self level, it just stays where you put it. I really like this one, it's very enjoyable to use. <laughs> and then I've got the cool one step gel this is the clear self leveling one so if you notice this one will move so this is yeah self leveling it's good for I like this one to encapsulate okay so that is the cool one step gel and these are available from the little nail shop um, I'm also going to be using Clio. This is going to be this one actually came in my latest order it's a gorgeous ready brown <gasps> how nice is that Oh, it's so nice. Ooh. So, um, yeah, we're going to start by doing a reverse smile line. I find these really tricky with gel. This is not my... I definitely need more practice. So I'm just putting down a little layer and then I'm going to take a bead and I'm going to start to move the product around. Try not to move your brush off the product because you will end up with lots of bubbles. Um, but I kind of, I don't really know if, sometimes people use little circular, little, they move the brush in little circles and some people move the brush backwards and forwards, like side to side. I kind of do a little bit of both. Um, I kind of haven't really decided what I do. The, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, when I've done that, I'm going to wipe off the tacky layer and I'm just going to file around that smile line. So it's just nice and neat when I come to apply the color. The glitter I'm using, this is Blackberry from Nail Sugar. This is a hidden gem. This is amazing for autumn nails and it looks stunning. You wait and see in a bit. Oh, it's so nice. You can get 10% off at Nail Sugar using my code NATMUG10. We're also using the Charmed Chameleon Confetti. This one is a sort of color shift. It sort of changes color. Really, really good one for autumn. And um, you can also get 10% off at the Little Nail Shop. I don't think I mentioned that using my code NATMUG10 as well. That mug 10 codes everywhere <laughs> okay so we're gonna put um a layer you'd put like your you'd prep your nail and then you'd put super bond on before you've done this but because i'm using my flexi hand i'm just going straight in with the color you might also want to put a clear layer down i don't know how you want to do it but if you put the clear layer down then you can file down to that clear layer as well so fyi um right so yeah the clio is gonna go on all of the nails I apply a thin coat, a thinnish coat first. So I put a little bit and then I, I do like to go in with a little bit more just to sort of try and even out the color. But actually this one covered really nicely. If I'd have done that ultra thin coat like I did to start with, then you'd probably definitely need, probably definitely, that made absolutely no sense. Like if I'd done it, if I left the, if I left it this thin, you'd need two coats. Um, I do add just a smidgen more just to deepen up the colour. Isn't this colour nice though? I really like this one. I'm just going to yeah clean up the cuticle area because I made a bit of a mess. This one I leave quite thin and I'm just going to go around that smile line. And then I'm going to pop this in the lamp to cure. I've got my bling line lamp which I absolutely love. I'm going to pop it in that for 60 seconds for a full cure and then we can go in with our second coat so for the second coat i do the yeah this one what's this one the middle finger it's just a finger it's a nail it's not even a finger it's a nail the middle finger nail again i want to make sure that my color is nice and even it's such a nice color i just can't go over it and then i'm gonna do the pinky which you can't see and also my head got in the way at one point and then i'm gonna do um another coat on this one obviously because this one was super super thin this coat don't worry that you're a little bit messy around that smile line because i do file that messy bit off so this one, I haven't put an extra color on because I'm gonna, sorry, an extra layer of color because I'm going in with the clear one step gel. I'm just putting a thin layer of this on and into this, I'm gonna sugar the blackberry glitter. Just honestly, you, oh, 
it's going to be so nice right glitter tray to catch the glitter make sure you don't get any of the glitter on the other nails because they are still tacky so you literally just want it on this one now how gorgeous is that already wouldn't that look amazing just sugared I love it it's i don't know what it is it just looks so elegant i think that might be the right one i'm not sure right i forgot to press record so i've put some some cool one step gel on the middle finger here then i've taken this this gel then i've taken the glitter and i've just pressed it into that uncured one step gel now i've kept the bulk of the glitter at the cuticle area and i've blended it down so i wanted to go for a glitter fade but how nice is that for autumn that's going to go in the lamp to cure then I'm going to go in, I want to encapsulate these nails now. So this one, I'm going to go over with a thin layer of Cool One Step Gel. This is going to be like your slip layer. And then I'm going to scoop up a bigger bead. And I kind of try to get the bulk at the cuticle end. And then, see, I'm kind of using little circular motions here. And then as I get further down, look, now I start to go backwards and forwards. I don't know if that matters i think you just got to do what works for you i like to hold the finger upside down just so that i can make sure that the gel kind of lays where i want it and then i'm going to do the same thing i've cured it and i've done the same thing for all the other nails and i've filed and buffed and i wanted to use one of these leaves these are from um the crystal parade i'm absolutely absolutely obsessed with these at the moment i wanted to use the purple one that purpley one at the top but i was worried that it was going to look too i wanted it to stick out a bit look at the one in the middle the color change one oh, it's amazing and they've got bright red ones as well that are so vivid i decided to go with the amber one because i felt like it would complement the glitter on that middle finger the um the chameleon glitter confetti so i've put some gem glue in a blob now you need you need do you need quite a bit because this is quite a big leaf place it where you want it and then i'm just going to quickly flash cure it using my little uv lamp but i just want to make sure it doesn't move anywhere now when you get your client to put their hand into the lamp you probably want to get them to put their hand in a couple of different positions just so that you know that the light has um got to that gel and cured um, I do then place some more crystals around it and I do go around the smile line. I used a lot of the crystals from the golden mix and I also used some Capri gold crystals and some micro beads as well, caviar beads um, from the crystal parade just to finish off the set. Yeah, the, the finish off the nails. Is that the right word? I don't know. Anyway, it's top cone time. Um, check out this glitter looks amazing underneath these look oh that is my favorite now ever actually not ever but i do really really like it i love 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 these leaves and then this is the chameleon confetti which i absolutely love isn't that nice it kind of every now and then it just catches that it kind of i just think yeah it complements that leaf because it you get those kind of same colors um, I'm going to top coat this, but I am going to go over with my detailer brush, the Nail Sugar Natalie Mugridge detailer brush, just to go around the crystals and just along that cuticle line, um, because I don't want to use my brush on the edges because I don't want to go over the crystals and I don't want to flood the cuticle area. The brush will be back in stock in a few, I want to say in a few weeks. It is, it is on order, but they take a little while. But it's worth it you can't rush perfection <laughs> and that's how much i love my brush honestly it's my bestest brush in the whole wide world okay and there we are cured in the lamp and ready to go i hope you like this set if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing you can get five percent off at crystal parade as well using my code nat5 i hope you understood a word of that um i'm going to show you the nails up close a little bit better here and then i'm going to show you that leaf nail up close as well um i kind of put some leaves on the background to make it stand out and look nice so don't forget you can get 10 percent off at the little nail shop using my code natmug10 10 percent off at nail sugar using my code natmug10 5 percent off at the crystal parade using my code nat5 i think that's it like discount code galore here we go look at this oh, how amazing is that i just love the leaf once the leaves have gone they're gone so if you want them get hold of them right now <laughs> anyway thanks for watching i hope you did enjoy this video if you did please leave a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing and i'll see you tomorrow with a new video